So it looks like Tammy is still hung up on Waka Flocka because she just got exposed by his new girlfriend Mel for still being in Waka's DMs and trying to get him back. A lot of people immediately got on Tammy's neck and started dragging her for sliding back in Waka's DMs, considering the fact that she was the one who ended the relationship. The backlash got so bad that she hopped online to check Mel for speaking on her and putting all her business on social media. She told Mel that the only reason why she's even with Waka right now is because she dumped him. If she really wanted him back, she would already have him. Tammy even went as far as making a whole diss track about Mel and Waka's new relationship. Child, this is a hot stinking mess, y'all. But before we get into all that, let me give y'all a little bit of context as to how things got this bad in the first place. Now, if you remember, Tammy broke up with Waka back in 2021 after she caught him messing with other women behind her back. Waka was and still is a serial cheater and he did nothing but embarrass the heck out of Tammy the whole time they were together. Tammy and Waka first met in 2011 and after several years of dating, they decided to get married in 2014. However, prior to them even getting married, Waka was already cheating on her. But she still took a chance on him and decided to marry him with the hopes that maybe marriage was going to make him finally stop cheating. But it didn't because in 2016, they temporarily separated after she caught him cheating on her again. He was cheating on Tammy with a woman called Simone Patton, who he had been hooking up with for months. When the news broke, Waka tried to deny it, but Simone was not playing around with him and she immediately jumped on Instagram to expose him. She said, Waka, don't force me to post these pics of us in the bed together while Tammy was calling you over and over and you had your phone on the floor. Let's not forget you came to me in the club. You bring me back to the W right in Old Town. Don't deny ish when I have proof. Ask Tammy how I know she tried to FaceTime you over and over and even FaceTime Quam to have him show her proof nobody was in the room. You want me to keep going? You want me to post these videos? I'm not the only reason you and Tammy are on a break. You are. Simone also went on to post several photos of her and Waka together and it's clear as day that Waka was definitely very familiar with her. Tammy and Waka later got back together but the cheating didn't stop. He kept cheating on her over and over and over again with multiple women until Tammy finally decided to hang up the marriage and officially filed for a divorce in 2021. They are yet to finalize the divorce but they are both separated now and in their own individual relationships. The identity of Tammy's new man is still a secret but Waka recently debuted his new relationship when he posted a photo of him and Mel with the caption, crazy about Big Mel. Tammy didn't react to this relationship, but Waka got a lot of heat for moving on so quickly, and he even had to come out and ask people to get off of his back. He said, if y'all really loved me and Tammy, respectfully, can y'all respect our personal? Waka's stepdaughter, who is also Tammy's daughter from a previous relationship, also jumped in to defend Waka by saying, leave my father alone. He is happy and my mother is happy, both in separate relationships. A lot of people didn't even know Tammy had also moved on to another relationship until Charlie said it. This was how we found out that Tammy was also having a man in her life. Now you would think Tammy would just move on from this with grace considering the fact that she has a new man and was the one who clocked out from the relationship. But she recently decided to be messy by posting a shady quote on her IG stories that rubbed Mel the wrong way. The post said, no one can make me jealous over a seat I had first. You wouldn't be sitting there if I didn't get up. Mel felt hit by this and assumed Tammy was throwing shade at her. So she also clapped back by reposting a quote that said, being washed up and can't let go of your past is type crazy. She also added a caption to it saying, this is the one cause it's given jealous and bitter. I'll do anything for you if I love you. That's why I gotta watch who I love. Tammy saw Mel running her mouth and she decided to slide into the neighborhood talks comment section to make Mel aware that she's not the one to be played with. Man, I'm just waking up. It's 9 a.m. over where I'm at. Waka, we literally just talked about this last night, your morning. Waka, get her please for I hurt this little girl feelings. Oh, by the way, that post wasn't even about him nor you you, but hit dogs holla. You effing up your seat, she and Tammy. Child, not the she and Tammy. She kind of ate Mel up with that one. Anyway, someone responded to Tammy's comment and accused her of still fighting another woman over the man she left. She just wanted the girl to know they still talk. Becoming a side chick to a man you had first is very embarrassing. This comment didn't sit right with Tammy and she responded by telling the person that the only reason she still talks to Waka is because they are both still married and co-parenting Charlie. She said, sweetie, we talk because our daughter 
daughter. And to be honest, we are still legally married, so we have to talk because we have business that has to be handled together until the papers are signed. Grown people business. Despite the nasty feud that was going down, Waka didn't even bother to step in and tell them to cut it out. He said absolutely nothing and allowed them to keep dragging each other for filth. Waka's mom, Deborah, finally stepped into the chat and checked Tammy for engaging with the BS in the first place. She said, why are we doing this ish on the internet? We don't do this ish. It looks like Deborah's comment really got to Tammy because she backed off immediately and stopped responding to Mel. But Tammy's daughter, Charlie, still has some things to say and she decided to post a picture of Tammy and her man on her IG with the caption, just leaving this here because females need to tread lightly for real. Never gave washed up ever. And just when we thought Tammy was done with the whole back and forth, she went on IG Live a day after this whole mess went down and revealed that she has a new song coming out where she is going to address everything that has been going on. People were not here for this at all and accused her of still being obsessed with Waka. Put out was about to slap. Y'all gonna love this new music. Baby! Spilling the beans in the new music. I'm telling the truth child it's a hot mess y'all and i cannot believe they are doing all this over waka waka is definitely going to cheat on mel like he cheated on tammy all those years that man cannot keep his wood in his pants to save his life and tammy also looks hella crazy out here doing all this over a man she claims she doesn't want anymore as usual people had their own thoughts about this like the person who said it's actually embarrassing on tammy to brag about being able to get back with a man that has cheated on her on many occasions shall i rewind those love and hip-hop episodes for you or you good over there Tammy. Another person said if you so happy in your new relationship why do you even care to speak about them? Girl get over it he clearly over you now I see what the new girl was talking about. Washed up and don't know how to move. You let that girl get you in your grown behind women feeling. Child focus on that daughter of yours. But now I want to know what your thoughts are. What do you think about Tammy getting exposed for still obsessing over Waka and being in his DMs? And do you think Waka and Tammy will ever get back together? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to click here to watch this other messy video.